Bang, knees and eyes. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is not with us. And today we are going to be talking about form over function. We're going to have a little knife talk. And what I mean by form over function is when a company makes a knife that looks good or hits a bunch of avenues or hits a bunch of things right, but ex but doesn't execute the use, doesn't execute what it's supposed to be made for. So, for an example, like if a knife company makes a knife that's for hard use, right? Let's say a knife company makes a hard, and I'm going to take out a bunch of knives, and none of these knives, when I take them out, are going to are going to be what I'm talking about or anything. I'm just you, just taking out knives and talking at the same time. Some of them I might. We'll see. But say a knife that's a hard-use knife yet uses T6 hardware. What? A hard-use knife should be able to be taken apart many, many, many times because you're going to get it dirty. You're going to get it sandy. You're going to need to clean that thing on the regular. Yet, you can't. Because the more you take it apart, the bigger of a chance you have of stripping out the hardware. So it's not a it's it's a knife that's supposed to be a hard use knife, yet they they miss the ball on something like that. Or let's say access to the lock bar. Say it's supposed to be an EDC knife, it has one-handed deployment, yet when you use the lock bar, it's either hard to get to or it's really sharp and it cuts your finger or bites into you every time you unlock it. Or let's say uh, the flipper tab, right? The, the, um, the sharpness of the flipper tab or maybe the area where your finger goes just isn't correct. So it's annoying to flip every time you flip it. And it, it sucks to flip. Or maybe the, the, um, the pocket clip. Maybe the pocket clip just it just doesn't work good. It doesn't have a ramp. It uh, is not uh, wide enough to accept jeans or something like that. <clears throat> or let's say the the jimping. Maybe the jimping is just rounded. It's just for show. So it, it, they put it there, but it had no purpose for it because it don't work. Or let's say. The, the blade geometry um maybe it's it's a knife that's supposed to, it should cut because it's a knife yet the blade geometry is horrible and it just doesn't go through materials very well and then another bad thing is if they have a knife that doesn't go through materials well and is also sharp right here so the only way you're going to get it through materials is if you're squeezing and putting a bunch of pressure and bearing down. But when you do that, it bites into your hand and it basically cuts into your hand. So now what do you do with that knife? You can't use it. You can't use that knife. That knife can be used for light duty EDC purposes when you bought it to be a hard use knife or you bought it to be a user. Now, if you can't use it as a user, then what's it going to be? Light duty EDC or you're not going to carry it. Because if you're somebody who uses your knives, and I don't care if you don't use your knives. I don't care if you have a hundred knives and you don't use one of them. I don't care. But there's people out there that do use their knives. And when they use their knives, they need it to perform. And they won't carry it no more. They'll carry the knife that does work. They'll carry the knife that does perform for them. So now they spent, say, $150 on a knife that what are they going to do with it? What are they going to do with it? They're going to post pictures of it on Instagram. And then everybody is going to see that knife and think, man, that's a good looking knife. It has everything I need, all the things that look good on a knife, and it's 150 bucks, man. It must be great. They're going to do the same thing because I feel like knife companies kind of know what we want. And like say this, like say, and I'm not speaking about this knife. It's just, I'm just going to go over some stuff. So like, let's say Micarta's in, right? So they give you Micarta. They know you want Micarta. M390. They know you want M390. M390. That's the steel, boy. 
They know you like flipper tabs. Flipper tabs are in. They're in right now. So they give you a flipper tab. And a deep carry clip. Deep carry clip, they got that. So you see this and you're like, man, that looks like a good knife. So you buy it. Then you go to use it. And the lock bar axe sucks. You can't even get in there. And then when you do get in there, it breaks your nail to disengage it. It literally cracks your nail in half because it's so sharp or so ridiculously strong and it's hard to get into. So you're basically fighting your nail in there to get to it. Um, and then when you go to use it, the blade geometry sucks so bad that you can't get it through materials and it's sharp right there. Or, or let's say this, or maybe the, the sharpening choil isn't done right, right? And they literally missed it by a millimeter, right? They missed it by a millimeter. They did everything right except for maybe the sharpening choil. Okay, let's just say something simple as the sharpening choil. You do everything right except for you miss a millimeter of the sharpening choil. What does that say? You know what that says to me? That says that they made a knife, never even tested it. They never tested it. They never sharpened it. They never did anything with it. They made it and sold it. They might have got it and got it in hand and felt the ergos and stuff like that, but they never sharpened They never used it. And even if the designer, and I'm not talking about designers right now because the knife designers will design a knife sometimes and then the, the company will mess this stuff up. Um, they might have had it in their design, yet the, the company didn't execute it well. So, like I said, I'm not talking about any one company or anything like that. And I'm not ranting, guys. I hope you guys don't think I'm, like, going off the hinges right now. I'm literally, I just, I felt like making a video, and <laughs> I figured this was a good topic. That's it. I'm having fun, guys. Um, so, anyway, so, but, yeah, I... I feel like some of them, they're making knives and they never even tested them. It's kind of like, like I was saying about the sharp right here, right? It's thick and can't go through materials easily unless if you squeeze it. And then when you do, it cuts into your hand. So what does that say? That says they made knives and then are charging you $150 because it's M390. Yet they never even put that damn knife through anything. They never once cut with it. Because if they would have, this some that person would have said, hey man, this is cutting me. This is cutting into my hand. We got to chamfer that. And then it would have been chamfered. Or um when a knife is supposed to be for light duty EDC. Yet, it, the blade seals thick as a brick. I'm not talking about this knife. I'm not talking about any one of these knives when I'm talking. This knife has great blade geometry. But, um, let's say it's supposed to be a light-duty EDC, yet it's thick as a brick. The, the blade steel. And now, you can't even do like... I mean, what are you going to use it for? You can literally cut strings with it or something. But you can't use it, like, not in a real-life... Like, you can, I guess. You can. It's just, it's not going to be enjoyable. You're not going to want to. You're going to you're gonna literally pick up the knife that will perform over it. And either you're going to carry that knife for looks and for Instagram and post it on Instagram, or you're not going to carry it at all. And now you've wasted your money. Um, there's just some knife companies that are doing things perfectly. They really are. They're executing all the things and you can tell they've paid attention and have used knives and they understand what a knife is for and what is, how it's supposed to perform. And then there's companies out there that are just trying to push knives out as fast as they can and get them to you. Even this knife. I, I, I know I just stopped talking, but this knife right here. I like ZT. I love zero tolerance. And I like the 0450. And I truly think that Zero Tolerance is getting a lot more crap than they deserve right now. But this specific knife, just this one, not all ZT 0450s, this one, heat treat, is done so bad. This is S35 VN, and it was not done good. It just wasn't. When I, you can see I've removed so much steel from it. I've even had to cut in a sharpening choil. And it, it can't... It can't be sharpened, and when it is sharpened, it, it takes so long because some of the blade steel is sharpening and some of it's just falling apart. 
and it sucks. I mean, it, I won't use this no more. Like it, when I do use, I have to use it super light. Like I can't actually use it because if I do go to use it, I have to resharpen it. And if I try to resharpen it, it, it kills me to sharpen this thing. So now there you go. There's, there's 170 bucks out the window for that knife. And I can't get the warranty back because I modified it. And, um, yeah, whatever. doesn't matter. <clears throat> Next thing. I think that they realize, like, they, like, a lot of companies know, like, okay, they got the action down. All right, they got the action down. Oh, yeah. They got all the little details down when it comes to swagger, when it comes to looking good, when it comes to Instagram, basically. But do they have it down for use? Can you use it? Is the lock bar going to withhold what you're going to put it through? Is the Are you going to be able to disengage it and put it back into your pocket without an issue? Are you going to be able to take it out of your pocket and make it perform in which it was designed for? Because a lot of knives, they're, just, they're not doing what they're supposed to be for. Like this little EDC knife, this thing has a blade stock thickness. It doesn't even make sense to me why they would ever put this thick of a blade on this light duty of an EDC. I mean, this thing is a little, it's a little, I mean, this thing's, a, it's a, it's a gentleman's knife. That's all it is. So don't get me wrong. I mean, I like this knife. I love this knife and I just use it for the tip, but I can't cut through anything. Like I couldn't cut cardboard with this, even though this really isn't that type of knife. So I'm kind of bitching about this for nothing, but it just kind of baffles me. Like, why would you put that thick of a blade stock? Like, that's a that's a thick enough blade stock to pry with. I ain't prying with this knife. It's a great knife. I love the knife. We've had two of these. And this one was a gift. And I, I love it. I think it's a great knife. Kara really likes this knife because she can carry it. And it's a sexy looking knife. But that's what they gave you. Yeah, you know, they gave you a sexy looking knife. Not a knife that's going to perform. Um... There's a lot of knives doing it right. There's a lot of companies doing it right, but there's also a lot that miss the ball on the one little thing. And that one little thing tells you that they did not test it. They they literally got a knife out. And you know, I don't know for sure if they didn't test it. You know what? I'll tell you what. If they did test it, then that means they were negligent and that they didn't care about what you were buying. Because if something or they weren't willing to lose them that few minutes of whatever they had to do to the knife you know like chamfer an edge or maybe put in some jimping or maybe some jimping that actually does work or put in a cutout to the lock bar or maybe heat treat the the steel um correctly and um heat treating is kind of the least of what i'm talking about even though uh <laughs> yeah, I'm basically talking about the function of the knife, how it functions for what you need it for. It should be able to perform over what it looks like. And don't get me wrong, guys, I love a good looking knife. And I'll tell you what, if a knife doesn't look good, I don't want it. So, I, you know, and they know that though, they know that. So the fact that they know that you're going to buy a knife that looks good, they make a knife that looks good. But does it work? Can it perform? Is it going to hold up? Can you take it apart? Can you clean it? Can you sharpen it? Sharpening it is a huge thing. You should be able to sharpen your knives um, without making a smile or without having to cut in your own sharpening choil because that's what winds up happening. Well, at least with me, I wind up having to cut in my own sharpening choil. Spend $150, $200 on a knife that I have to cut my own choil into? What? Like I said, that means they never even attempted to use it and sharpen their, knife, their own knife. I feel like if you're going to design a knife and make a knife and sell it to me for, for money, like good money, like more than $20, then that knife should have been tested first to make sure it's going to work in real world you know scenarios um like i said guys i'm not sitting here ranting i'm just having a good time with you guys i hope you guys uh you know understand what i'm saying you guys know what i'm getting form over function function over form love you guys i'm gonna hit the camera you already know that
Love you guys. Peace.